Welcome to Railway Legends, Myths, and Stories. I'm Kevin Stanley. This time, I want to talk about a legend. We have talked before about some of the early railway's legendary people, such as Richard Trevithick, George Stevenson, and George Washington Whistler, all great people in the railroad field. Today, we want to honor a modern-day legend in the field of photography. No, no, Kuma, you don't take the pictures. <sighs> Today, we want to honor Carol M. Highsmith. So who is Carol Highsmith, and what has she to do with the railroads? Well, Carol Highsmith is a great photographer, and that is a grand understatement. While only a small part of the vast number of pictures Carol Highsmith took were of trains, we here at RLMS still want to honor her contributions. Born in 1946, Highsmith spent more than 43 years of her life photographing all across the United States of America. Her photos ranged from vast landscapes to wide varieties of architecture, whether it be great urban areas or remote rural places. The collection has many studies of the people as well as where they live and work. Early on, she had a Pentax K1000 camera taking night classes in photography at the Corcoran School. She had mostly worked in black and white and soon showed an eye for detail. In 1982, she became a professional photographer. Often, she used a large format Swiss-made camera for taking pictures of buildings. The use of the large format view camera captured images with great clarity, depth, and detail. Later, she used the best technology to scan, store, and print her images. After that, she moved to digital equipment, but only when it was of high enough resolution and then only using the finest professional equipment available. She worked on many extensive photographic projects. She had started on a two-book series that would eventually total more than 50 titles. Here are a very tiny number of the pictures from this incredible collection. Okay, you might say, these sure are nice pictures, but so what? Well, we think they were very nice ones indeed. But besides having taken great pictures, one other super amazing and wonderful thing Carol Highsmith did was to donate her work to everyone. This collection is available at the Library of Congress. She wanted her work to be seen and enjoyed, and so she placed all of her work into the public domain. This is beyond wonderful. Now everyone can appreciate her wonderful work. It is so nice that these fantastic pictures have been placed where they can be accessed and be seen by so many people. One of our ongoing problems here at RLMS is finding the right photo to go with our videos. While we do travel and make every attempt to take as many pictures and videos as we can, Many of our topics are of a historical nature, so we must go looking for the right image. 
One place we have gone to is the Library of Congress. Looking through their extensive collection, we have often found that just the picture we wanted is part of the Carol Highsmith photo collection. Pictures like this are both spectacular and useful. We hope you can see why we want to honor this great photographer. You may find a number of Carol Highsmith pictures for sale across the internet. If you want to pay these sites, that is your own decision. However, we want to repeat that all of the Carol Highsmith collection is in the public domain, so you can look for sites with these pictures and use them as you want. You can visit the Library of Congress site and look over this wonderful collection of images. We heartily recommend it. From all of us here at RLMS, we would like to thank very much Carol Highsmith for all of the effort and skill that has gone into this photographic treasure trove. And as always, we'll see you on the train, whoever takes its picture.